Okay, everybody. Well, we're back in ZBrush, uh, ready for a new tutorial. We're in ZBrush 2021, and uh, we're going to be talking about something pretty cool today. We're going to be talking about the option to uh, reconstruct lower detail levels. Now, um, this is useful for a couple of reasons, and I'll demonstrate in a second. Yeah. First, let's say you have a whole bunch of detail levels built up. So you started out your sculpt to really low poly, worked up to a pretty detailed level, and for whatever reason, you know, you deleted all your lower history, which can be a nightmare, right? That's one option that you can then fix. The second one is what if you have, let's say, a 3D scan of something, okay? You got a 3D scan, it's typically triangulated, but you uh, made it quads, let's say in, I don't know, in, uh, in ZBrush or in Maya or whatever, uh, but the only thing you have is the high poly. Now, you want to have a low poly because you want to do a bake at some point, right? But you don't have one. So you can do a couple of things. You can try to, uh, you know, remodel it. You can uh, retopo it. You can do all this kind of stuff. But what you can also do is use the reconstruct in ZBrush. Now, in order for me to show you, I need to create something. So we're just going to go in here. Let's uh, create, I don't know, a gear. We'll uh, put that in place. We'll hit edit. We'll hit make poly mesh 3D. And if I now go in here and click on this guy, then you can see that this is what we have so far. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up to a way higher level. So I'm going to go up to geometry so you can see where we're at. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to subdivide. You can click on the button subdivide or you can hit control D as shown here. So as soon as we do that, we now have subdivision level two. So it went up and three and four and five and let's do six. Okay. So we're at eight million count up here. All right. So let's turn that off. You can see nice and smooth. And again, ma uh, imagine this being your uh, high poly model with all these levels. So I can go back to five to four, three, two, one. And as I let that go, you can see that we're now back at our low poly. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go way up to six here and let's turn this off for a second. And let's say I click on delete lower. So I get rid of every detail level um, other than my level six. Yeah. So that is now gone. I can't go back. Now what? Right. Well, the cool thing here is you have the reconstruct subdivision. And that is very cool. So we're at six right now, or actually we've got nothing to select from because we're at six and I'm going to reconstruct. And as I do that, it says up here, full reconstruction. And what it did now is it created one lower level. So this is the very high poly, right? It's a, our previous level six, which is now two. We're going to go to one, which is slightly more low poly. Now let's drag this to one and we're going to repeat the process. So we're going to reconstruct again, full reconstruction. Okay. So now we have three, two, and one. Let's go to the lowest one. Let's reconstruct once again. And there you go. Full reconstruction. So we've got four, three, two, one. Let's do it again. There you go. It's done. Let's see. We had six when we started. So reconstruct once again. Almost done. There you go. Okay. So now we have level one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's pretty cool, right? Now it's really important here. If you want to be able to do this, that you have a clean mesh so no triangles and uh, you know it's cleaned up so if you don't have that you take your model take it into for example maya or whatever program you're using clean up the high poly mesh and then go back in and do the process right so hopefully this is helpful uh it uh, definitely helped me to get out of a tight spot more than once uh let me know in the comments what you think if you've got any requests for more ZBrush videos, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that sub button if you liked it and see you guys next time. Bye.